Hi everybody! Today's tutorial is a little mix between anatomy and pyrography, meaning that I feel that we have to understand what we are burning and in this case I will talk about uh, human emotions, feelings, expressions. All the human face and all the human body is filled with layers and layers of muscles that combine with each other and make human emotions more visible or you can understand what the other person is feeling uh, by those combinations of muscles. I will start with happiness, with the real smile. You also have a fake smile. This fake smile is often worn in photographs because it does not distort the features. So we won't have the corner of the mouth uh, lifted, not the crow's uh, claws also. Uh, it will be almost like a, a flat smile, so it doesn't distort the features. Uh, this is used intentionally to take photographs at events or something like that. Uh, so I actually have already told you what the main features are of a real smile. We will have um, the lower eyelid contract and make these uh, cross feet lines that in this case it, it's an older person so he must have these already in his face but not like this um, they are really pronounced here and here so this is one of the features that uh, makes a real smile also uh, the eyes close all the cheeks um, lift also the sides, all the sides of the face will lift, uh, the corners of the mouth uh, curve upwards also, we have this here that contracts um, and this is uh, what makes a real smile. Um, you cannot fake this real smile because all of these features and if you uh, search for an anatomy picture you will see that we have lots of layers in our in our face layers of muscles in our face and so now that we know the features let's trace the design to the wood and start burning. This is usually uh, darker uh, above the eye here. The corner of the eyes is usually darker also. This here because you have this all this volume here. So this these will be darker, the inside of the nose of course, the inside of the mouth and also the cross feet will be darker because we have this vol these volumes here and that's what makes them a little higher than the cross feet. So let's trace the design to the wood. So I already have my graffiti paper underneath the picture, between the picture and the wood. I will use a red pen like I always do. You can use any color you like, uh, as long as you can see what you have traced already. So let's trace the main features.
So, it is a little bit light, I hope you can see it. Uh, remember to start with a low temperature. I am starting with a three and a half set and my spear shader. Remember to have clean tips. Um, I will start by the darker areas as I usually do. So let's see what I can do with three and a half. Let's see if it's enough. Oh, I use these dashed lines, uh, for instance, when when you have uh, lines that are not um, completely uh, dark, uh, that are not complete, um, I use these dashed lines, they are easier to erase and they won't show as much as uh, a normal line, so that's why I used them just to see where the line is, but it doesn't show that much. This is a very soft wood, so three and a half seems more than enough. really doing a great job. This image is from Unsplash. It's an image by David Siglin. I will post a link. Now start bringing some tone to the bright areas from the dark. I'm, I'm using just the very edge of the tip. These are very quick strokes. This way you won't have to change the temperature and still have lighter strokes. I'm using the side of the tip now to make some eyelashes. I will lower the temperature just a little bit to 3 on the temperature level. This wood is really very soft and 
I'm not being able to control the mid tone, so. Older persons are always a bigger challenge because they already have their skin with much more texture than uh, younger ones, of course, the wrinkles and the aging process, it's natural and it's beautiful. I really enjoy doing all this texture texture sorry okay let's do let's leave this part for now Let's go ahead and make the eyebrows. I have traced only the very very dark parts, so that's what we are going to do first. I usually make them from the down to up. So that you can pull the tip out and um, the eyebrow will be thinner. It's easier to make them this way. Can you see? Now I'm building an extra darkness here. Just to fill them in. Decrease the temperature again to two and a half. I think it's really. I'm not being able to control this because with this area, it's it's actually um, much more brighter. So you have to be careful or it will damage the, the feature of the person. I'm using the very edge of the tip again and if you leave it more time you'll have a darker area. and it will still be soft enough now start bringing down 
the tone as you can see you can always darken this a little bit you can shift between the, the, the edge the very edge of the tip and a little bit more of the tip now I'm using a little bit more keep building the mid-tones you can always go a little darker but you cannot go lighter so start with the very very dark areas and then very slowly Keep building the mid-tones or you won't be able to go back. Now let's build a little bit more from the upper eyelid. I'm using the edge, the left edge of the tip to do this very slowly two and a half in the temperature setting with this wood it depends on the wood you're using keep bringing the tone down to the lighter areas blend them together I'm using very fast strokes between the very edge of the tip and a little bit more of the tip don't worry if it's not completely soft because the skin has this texture as you all know it's not plastic so it's okay now I'm using the right edge of the tip to bring these values down to start building the nose then down slowly Now let's change to the other eye and let's do exactly the same. Let's start with the eye itself, which is the darker area we have. Two and a half, it's taking a little bit longer, but it's okay. It's safer to do this this way.
all like we did before start bringing the tones up very slowly Now we can move to the eyebrows Just the very edge of the tip Down to up There are small textures here that you can build as on the other side start bringing the mid-tones down to make his nose I'm using the right edge of the tip to do this This is all I am able to do today. I will continue this tutorial showing uh, the rest of the face and the mouth, the nose. And thank you very much for watching. I hope this is helpful for you. Thank you.